What's up everyone, Dartblade here with an information video regarding this week's limited bounties and event quests on Monster Hunter World. This is for the week starting the 6th of July 2018. Now this is the last normal week before we go into the Summer Twilight Festival, where there'll be a ton of event quests as well as limited bounties changing daily. But anyway, what have we got to entertain us this week? Well first, the limited bounties. We have four of them. The first is a general limited bounty, Coral Highlands. And this is to clear free quests in this specific location. This can be done at high or low rank, so it shouldn't be too difficult at all. Anyway, for completing three of these quests in this area, you'll get research points, some armor sphere pluses, and a first Wyvarian print. Next is an ecology survey to hunt Uragan. We have to hunt four of these specific monsters, and it has to be done at high rank. Although, given that the Elder's Recess can only be accessed at high rank, I'm not surprised. Anyway, for taking down four of these monsters, you'll get research points, some advanced armor spheres, and a silver Wyvarian print. Next is another ecology survey, Tempered Monster Hunt. We have to hunt five tempered monsters. Now these can be at any threat level, so it shouldn't be too difficult for people who have reached end game. Anyway, for taking five of these monsters down, you'll get research points, some hard armor spheres, and a silver Wyvarian print. And then finally is the general limited bounty to complete all of this week's other limited bounties. And for doing so, you get your standard research points, your standard gold Wyvarian print, and the golden egg. The print can be exchanged for certain monster gems, and the egg can be sold for Zenny. So there we have it, that's pretty much it for the bounties. A lot of the limited bounties this week can be tied into the event quests, so you can potentially get them done quite quickly if you want. So anyway, let's move on to the event quests. First is Kirin the Myth. This is a low rank 5 star quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 8 or higher. This has players taking on two Kirins in the Coral Highlands. So as you can see, it's in the Coral Highlands, so it can help with that limited bounty. Unfortunately, it is two Kirins, but they are low rank Kirins, so shouldn't be too tough. Also, this is the only low rank event quest available this week, so this is one for newcomers if you want to test your metal against some Elder Dragons. Next is Rock and Roll Recess. This is a high rank 7 star quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 13 or higher. This has players taking on all the monsters who are associated with the Elder's Recess. So that's Dodo Gamma, Uragan, which ties into the limited bounty, Levasioth, and Azir Raphalos. Remember as well that quests that involve all the monsters in a certain area have increased chances of getting a large or small gold crown. So if you're still missing the gold crown for any of these monsters, this may be one to consider. Next is one of the toughest quests in Monster Hunter World, Relish the Moment. This is a high rank 9 star quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 50 or higher. This has players taking on a Tempered Devil Joe in the Elder's Recess. Now the Tempered Devil Joe is a lot more formidable than the normal Tempered Monsters we come across. And I personally found this on par in terms of difficulty with the Arch Tempered Elder Dragons. He has a ton of health and he hits like a truck. So be prepared if you want to take this one on. Anyway, for taking down this monster and completing this event quest, you have an increased chance of getting stream stones, which can help when it comes to augmenting your weapons. And then finally is a new event quest, No Tomorrow for Usurpers. This is a high rank 9 star quest that requires hunters to be hunter rank 30 or higher. This has players taking on a templed basil juice in the Elder's Recess. Now the special aspect of this event quest is it's another quest that comes with bonus hunter rank upon completion. There are two other event quests out there like this, but they require you to take on two monsters. This one just has you taking on the one. Also, this event quest, alongside a Relish the Moment, tie into the limited bounty we get this week to take on Tempered Monsters. So as I said, a lot of these event quests and limited bounties this week tie nicely together. As for the arena, there is nothing really new. The challenge quest One Beginner has returned, but apart from that, it hasn't really changed from previous weeks. So there we have it. As you can see, this week isn't the busiest, but given the Summer Twilight Festival is out next week, I'm not surprised. But anyway, what are your thoughts on this week's activities? Leave a comment down below. And until next time, I've been Darblade, bringing you an information video regarding this week's limited bounties and event quests on Monster Hunter World. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.